Hey there, welcome to the Loose Lemire channel. Welcome to this reading called What Love Energy is Coming Your Way. So how I usually read this reading is to figure out what love energy is coming your way. So that's um, an energy cloud. Um, oh my God, my nails are janky today, but I wanted to get this reading out. <laughs> Holy mother of God. Okay, baby, look, this is what we're dealing with, and this is what you'll be dealing with in this reading. I was so focused on getting you this reading, I didn't even think about my nails. So that's the dedication that you get on this channel. Are you new? Hey, are you returning? Wah, what's up? Oh my god. So how I describe love energy is like a cloud, right? Like, what's the season coming towards you? Um, this season could last a month, it could last three months, it could last a year, depending on your your life, your vibe, and what's going on. This is the love energy that's coming towards you. So this could be an energy that you embody or an energy that the people that come towards you embody. If the love energy sounds like something that you're in or have been from, then perhaps there's something more watch the reading till the end to see what more you can glean from that energy and then go ahead and pick another reading to see what might be next it might be letting you know that that's just the energy that you're still in for a little while longer and that's what it is you know um <laughs> tis what tis so your options will be appearing in a hot second uh i am gearing this um reading to be more so towards romantic love but this could really just be an overall sort of loving energy in, in, in relation to your, uh, your family, your how you feel, whatever, in your world. If you have any suggestions for a reading, um, let me know. What are the love energies that want to come out here for the people that have shown up? What energies? Oh. We have five energies showing up for the love energies that want to be seen. Drink some water every time I say the word energy. Let's make fun. So which one, my friend, has your love energy that's coming towards you? Is it the nine of clubs? Is it the four of spades? I call this flowers. <laughs> Is it the jack of hearts? These are the same motherfuckers that stay showing up in my re five of diamonds. That's <laughs> so weird. And the five of spades. <laughs> very interesting <laughs> you saw me shuffle baby so these are the contenders these are the love energies coming your way which one has your story um that spirit wants you to know about or which one which ones i'm i'm betting some of you or most of you are gonna have two i'm really feeling that so if you are feeling like there's a two or even like two and a half Feel which one feels the strongest and then watch that one first and watch the other one second and then the other one third. All right. I'll see you in your reading. Five of clubs. Four of clubs. Wow. See? See? Five of spades. Four of spades. Nine of clubs. Jack of hearts. Five of diamonds. Diamonds. We got two fives. So... I'll see you in your uh, story. Okay, I think I will go ahead and start with who wants to start? Let's start with the Five of Diamonds. Hey, Five of Diamonds. How are you? Welcome to your reading. Um, the love energy that's coming towards you, again, like I said in the intro, could come in the form of a you or another person. Just, it's like a vibe. The love energy coming towards the five of diamonds. The five of diamonds is the five of sometimes pentacles. And 
and there's something here to me when i saw that there's something that feels like abundance um a change with it being a five maybe a conflict um the five of pentacles is in the tarot notoriously known for being left out in the cold feeling poor and decrepit and just not great abandoned and the like forgotten being displaced but i'm not really picking that up i'm picking up that something has changed something is coming in sort of fast i'm picking <laughs> she says fast and yang is like whoa slow down yang in reverse is like an energy where spirit is like holding you back by the forehead while you're cartoonishly trying to like keep walking like not you but like it's that like whoa and like someone keeps walking it's it's, it's very knight of swords on a rampage like blind just rage or blind blind movement um not blind but like like blinders are on and you're gonna just keep going and so it's kind of saying um this energy is impulsive trying not to be or at least the guidance is if it's you to not be so impulsive uh, so interesting love that for you does anybody else want to talk no all right i'm good with that i am okay with that so we have chemistry in reverse. I feel like there is an energy of pushing here. I feel like there's an energy of someone who is feeling unsafe, is feeling unsettled, and so they knee-jerk react. They impulsively move. Um, because of, in reaction to the resistance that is perceived. So whether or not there is resistance or whether or not the resistance is more so perceived i feel like this again is someone who or an energy of like forceful i will bulldoze this shit i am a river dam like i will destroy this dam um but it's coming from a place of insecurity and by insecurity i really mean you stopping and breaking down that word of in security like it's coming from feeling unsecure coming from feeling unsafe coming from feeling it's so funny a, a car drove by with i n it's a different language but it started with in it's so crazy but yeah there's like an internal um unsecurity unsafety that this energy is coming towards you with um but with this five of diamonds i just feel like again yes there's definitely that five of pentacles energy but i'm really picking up like an upside like there's definitely a change but i'm picking up like an upswing i'm picking up um good things and it's almost like you know good things come with impulse as well if you win the lottery that's a good thing but it comes with the impulse of maybe trying to spend it all because you feel unsafe with a lot of money, um, trying to self-sabotage in some ways. This is, this is a, an, an energy where Jupiter has kissed you or kissed it and given it a boundless Father Christmas, like, ho, 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 come have fun in my play shop. But I don't know, it's like, it's like someone has found a secret and they don't want other oh, there's such an insecurity to this like mine goblin mine like even in the toy shop like there's multiples of every toy but it's almost like if someone is going in the aisle that they're going in they're like no like i gotta get there quicker so if this is a love energy that's coming towards you in terms of like love love this person is a little bit off their rocker they might be a little bit possessive or Someone who really might feel like they're, you're theirs. Um, or they themselves might have the characteristics of someone who... Is quite forthcoming with what they want. But you can see the look in their eyes. It's a little off. <laughs> there, there's, 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 there's a vulnerability they're hiding. 
or they think they're hiding, but their mouth is doing something else. Like this is someone who, I can see this. This is someone who in their eyes, they're trying to keep it together, but they're really not. Like their crazy eyes are kind of out there. But the, and the words leaving their mouth are just like insane. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's just some imbalance here in the energy that's coming your way. And from that imbalance, it feels like someone wanting to act, I don't want to say irrationally, but impulsively to the point because to the point of trying to achieve safety because they're feeling unsafe. Um, so this could be, you know, you trying to do things that or trying to secure something that doesn't necessarily need securing or maybe you do feel like it needs securing um but yeah there's just there's just that vibe but i'm still looking at this five and it's still giving me vibes of an upswing so maybe it's not all bad like if if this is a love energy that's coming towards you, it might be really nice to have someone who's obsessed with you or I don't know if you'll like it. <laughs> like, look, just because they're obsessed doesn't mean they're the one that you want, you know, but um, someone who wants to move things forward, someone who wants equilibrium between you two um, or lovers that do. Can you tell me more about the love energy that's coming towards my my five of pentacles? I mean five of diamonds. That's funny. <laughs> okay. There's the king cups and the wheel of fortune in reverse. So I'm putting it right back in the deck. So we have the Strength, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have a Strength in reverse. Let me clarify the Strength in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse, and quite possibly the Ace of Wands. I want to keep that in there. It's someone that doesn't, someone that doesn't want, <laughs> someone that doesn't want to expose themselves, but I feel like they sort of end up doing so anyway because they're unable to hold themselves back. Their processes, like cognitive processes, have been stopped or overwhelmed. Bro, whose tea am I reading here? <laughs> yeah. Someone who... Is been tired of waiting and want to harvest because they want to harvest, like they want to move. Let's get, let's get to it. Let's get to it. I feel like it's someone who's holding back, but I'm not sure how how much longer they would be able to hold back for. Um, this love energy that's coming towards you. Oh my God. So many reversals. Uh, <laughs> it's 
it's not it's not a you thing. It's it's just a it's it's just it's it's annoying. I'm annoyed. <sighs> Let me clarify something. Might as well. Everybody's getting a go. Yeah, I feel like it's someone who is someone who is I want to say ready but also not ready like it's I don't want to it it seems premature like the word premature comes to me I feel like I'm getting the energy of someone who wants something but does it too soon um and even if it's the right time they move too fast it's almost like when someone sees someone in love at first sight and they say the first thing out of their mouth is i'm gonna marry you you're gonna be my partner and it's like even if that is the person that you know destiny or whatever has said yeah this is this is your rib <laughs> um it's too soon it's too impulsive it's too soon to be saying that um or this is someone who feels that someone is their person either you or the other person and so they start acting in a way as though you you're already each other's person like you're already married you're already living together you're already intertwined in your life when you just met or you're still getting acquainted you don't know enough about this person you still haven't gone through the motions of actually dating and like the slow stuff so what i'm seeing here is someone who's eager to get things moving let's go let's go like okay i've been waiting for this fruit this tree to bear fruit um it i see the fruit okay great 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 but it 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 hasn't it's not fully ripe it's fine just pluck it just pluck it let's go like i don't care if it's ripe i don't care if it's ready i just want it like i want it in my hands like we'll figure out the ripeness it can ripe when it's off the vine that's okay like that's that's what i'm getting here from from this from this energy it's fine i want it like things feel delayed and things are delayed but someone wants what they want when they want it and with the strength and the ace of swords both showing up in their verse the strength just ugh. it's it feels like a king of swords who is acting because of impatience again it's like they're letting the external unsafety insecurity get in like i don't want someone to take my toy i don't want someone to get my thing like i want it now which is a virtue but it's almost like something is happening faster than it should or too fast like going too hard um which i mean is that a bad thing or a good thing i don't know it doesn't it's 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 it's, it's neither here nor there so <laughs> If this is the energy that you're experiencing, um, your guidance, I'm gonna pull it from another deck. Do I wanna do that? I don't really want to. <sighs> yeah, okay. We'll use this one. Your guidance, if this is an energy that comes your way. Hey spirit, how can my people best deal with this energy? Weave together the crown you deserve and slow down and celebrate yourself. So, and then at the bottom of the deck we have throne. <laughs> Your potential is endless. Anyway, oh wow, that's a lot of food. Okay. Um, at any rate, what I'm seeing here for you in terms of guidance, weave together the crown you deserve and slow down and celebrate yourself is... Uh, let's see. It's to work with this energy. You know, 
Um, both of these are about celebration. Both of these are about like self-care and taking care of yourself, but it's also about like helping out someone else. So if this is an energy that comes towards you and it's still in the form of someone else, if someone is feeling insecure, try to do your best to provide a sense of safety around them and the situation that inhabits you so that they can calm their ass down. If this is you taking better care of yourself and giving yourself what you need, by being the one you are looking for, giving yourself the energy that you are wanting to bulldoze th through to might be the best course of action to you in helping soothe this energy. It's not wrong for you to want and desire and to bulldoze, and, I mean, to go after what you want, but it's just like, there's just a little bit of like a, hey, chill a bit, you know, it's all right, go after what you want. That's totally fine. It's yours to go after, but just, you know, woosa. Take a little, take a breath before you move forward. Take a hot breath. Um, so do that for yourself in terms of, um, in terms of, of that, <laughs> in terms of this energy. Keep your light on and good luck. And if you have the tea on this, I would love to hear it. Bye. <laughs> Hey, Jack of Hearts, what is the love energy coming towards you? And remember, like we said in the beginning of the video, um, this could either be coming in the form of a person or it could be even be the energy that you end up embodying. So I would listen to the end of this reading just because um, there might be something in here for you that spirit did lead you to watch this video. Uh, there might be something in there for you. So I don't want you to miss your blessing. What is the love energy that's coming towards my jack of hearts people the jack of hearts to me is um as pre-established in another reading uh what are their feelings and intentions like what are their intentions and likely actions towards you definitely go check it out on the channel um you'll enjoy it it was a deep dive um to me this energy feels very knights of cups meets knights of wands meets knight of wands meets knight of pentacles but as i'm <laughs> tuning into this reading i'm picking up more of a knight of cups mixed with a knight of wands mixed with a knight of swords which is interesting <coughs> <coughs> because prior there was no knight of swords oh i thought there were multiple cards that were out here already <laughs> there was no knight of swords energy in this so this is um very interesting there's a free yourself and um it's safe for you to love. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> What's the love energy coming towards my people? All right. There's a lot of movement here. So I don't know. And you know what? The Knight of Swords does come up. Thank you, Spirit. We love you in this, in this, in this house. Um, the Knight of Swords did come up. Remember I said previously it was more so Knight of Pentacles. Who's showing up in this night in this free yourself? But I was really picking up Knight of Swords action in in in, in this guy um, as the last lesser energy. I feel like maybe they've swapped out or something like that. But at any rate, you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, that's between me and spirit. Look, what I'm picking up here is a lot of movement. Okay, this is a stagnant horse, unicorn. This is a moving horse but definitely sort of stagnant and also like trying to make a move, trying to go, trying to giddy up. And this is a uh, llama, which is still a moving animal, um, beast of burden that, is this a beast of burden? Yeah, that is at a crossroads, doesn't know what to do, where to go, how to move. This person here may not, they wanna move, they want to move this person this energy and again this could be you but the energy coming towards you is this energy of someone that wants to move but may not know which way to go may not know how to move where to move when to move well they know when they want to move they want to move right now they want to move right now um they want to move towards what's right for them but i feel like they might still be connected to what hurt them um and i'm not not in a i don't know in like a lesser percentage way like about 20 percent 
but that 20% is enough to keep them down. But I feel like this person is biding their time and looking to see what, what move to make and when to make this move. Um, they really want to make this move. They want to make this move. They don't want to be where they're at anymore. They want to move. They want to move. They want to move. They want to go. This, this, this bitch. This girl over here is holding this horse back from making a move. This horse wants to go. Even these angels are like, all right, honey, keep, like, go forward. Move forward. Move forward. So this person or you yourself, this energy is someone who might be moving away from their former attachments. Might be moving away from what previously hurt them what previously wounded them, what they were previously waiting for um, in terms of in terms of what wounded them, really. like It's like being in one spot for too long, so long that you end up hurting yourself. Like it's So long that you, you, be, you are in the line of fire. So long that You've just taken way too many hits, more hits than you were meant to, or supposed to, or needed to. Um, I have to take this off. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> and this person is... I, there's movement here, but it might be mental movement. More mental movement than physical movement. But mental movement is the hardest thing to move through. You know what I mean? Like mental mess is the more difficult thing to, to move through. But once you've made your decision, and maybe that's why the Knight of Pentacles isn't here. Or maybe, I mean, he is in here, like maybe at like a 10, 7% type way. But there's an energy here of someone who is moving but has not physically moved. They haven't yet charted their course. They're still charting their course. They're still waiting to make a decision. They're still waiting to not. They've made the decision, but it's like how best to go about it. They're looking at the map and going, okay, uh, how best can I move through this? Because Clearly, I'm done. This person is done. It's done with where they've been at. And they want to come, well, and they want to move. They're just trying to figure out where they should move to. All right. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, it's funny to me. I love it here. I love it in the loose house. Yeah, this guy was. Oh no, it was the the knight of the the eight the ace of wands that was trying to show up earlier. It was not trying to go back in the deck, but I put it back in the. Hole. Okay. The empress in reverse. The ace of swords in reverse. Man, this is very interesting. Uh, the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Knight of Swords in Reverse. If you were at all inclined to read the Five of Diamonds, that might be something of value to you, but I digress. Um, <clears throat> I am drinking some chamomile tea. Chamomile or chamomile? How do you say it? This is a, this is this is movement. <laughs> the Knight of Swords is here, and we've been talking about him. And I'm glad that I said all that thing, all that stuff, because Spirit is sort of confirming something here of the message. This person with the Three of Swords in Reverse is is heal is like moving through their past. I had some stumbling over that. They've stayed in one place too long, and they're moving through it. I feel like there's still with this coming out. There's still a slight. Oh, wait a minute, itty energy of them waiting. There's still that little, you know, that little like, like this. There's still about, girl, don't, look, <laughs> I have a story about my nails. This is not the platform for it, but this is the platform that suffers for it. It feels like there's this little bitty or even this little bitty 
you can't see that. These little bitty like uh, pieces of nail polish that are remaining on my hands from this bad job um, <clears throat> from a loved one, <laughs> myself, that's remaining that they want to go, that they're sticking around for to move through, but they're moving through it, you know? Yeah, I, I do feel like they're moving through it. With the Empress in reverse here, this feels like someone who's trying to nurture themselves. So, <clears throat> I don't know how this energy stumbles upon you, but that's how it is. They're more or less focusing on uh, the aforementioned, moving through what they've been through and also trying to nurture themselves. Um, but the Ace of Swords in reverse, I feel like this person isn't, isn't looking for opinions <laughs> weird i feel like they're not looking for opinions they're so done they're so done and they just want to move through and <sighs> hmm. i'm getting something just hold on I feel like they know that when they move, they will move and there's some fear behind that. Like, yes, they want to move. Yes, they want to go through. Yes, they want to, you know, move. But I feel like part of their, not indecision, but part of their stall, which isn't a great stall. It's just them sort of taking that deep breath and knowing that once I move, it's, it's, it's real, like it's going to be movement. Okay. Clarify the Empress. <laughs> Three of Cups. I always say in my mind that the Empress, when she's sitting on her wheat throne, is watching her daughters or her sisters or her friends or her, her maidens, her squad, her, the people she rules over. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying she rules over them. She's watching them play. She's watching over them and blessing the ceremony. With her in reverse, I do feel like she's trying to play. She's in disguise. She wants to play. She wants to frolic. She wants to be amongst the common folk. Um, she wants to party. She wants to have some fun and and be good to herself. And, and what, you know, if, once she's free, she wants to be free. You know, it's one of those like, royalty movies where i don't know what i'm clarifying with this the chariot that's so funny she wants to get the fuck out um with what are those movies where like the prince goes undercover you know they have like a secret identity like the prince and the pauper you know the prince pretended to be a pauper and swapped places just so he could live you know a, a mundane life where's what's going on with the three swords so clarify that real quick for me Yeah, they're, you, they, they, this person really ain't trying to hear nothing. They really, really ain't trying to hear nothing. They're not trying to hear nothing. Yeah. So um, let's get into your guidance. What your guidance is as per this energy when it comes your way. How to best deal with it. Throne, your potential is endless. The princess, the witch, and the mermaid. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. <laughs> 45. Your, um, if this is your energy, if this is you, the guidance here is pace yourself, don't freak out, run, fly, frolic, your potential is endless. You can become president. <laughs> you can do the impossible. 
You really can. What you think is possible is someone else's breakfast, you know? So dare to dream, my friend. Dare to dream. Once you free yourself, what you're going towards is really going to hit. It's going to be amazing. If this is guidance in terms of dealing towards this energy that is not you coming towards you, that one is a bit trickier. Um, I feel like if this energy is not you, you can still play. Like, you can still enjoy this energy. Um, just observe and go slow. Be in your power. Continue to look out for you and the like. But I feel like you can still hang out with this energy. I feel like don't, don't, um... Don't make this energy more important than it really needs to be. Really, because it's still about you. It really is. I wish you everything. Um, that was super interesting. Wild reading. Loved it. Uh, feel free to check out other videos on the channel because I think you'll enjoy them. I do. I vouch for them. So keep your light on. Good luck. And I will see you next time. Well, I don't want to do that. Ugh. Hey, Nana Clubs, how are you? What is the energy, love energy coming towards you? So this is, um, this is love energy. And this could be in the form of you or another person. Or people. So what is the love energy coming towards my Nana Clubs? I know there's one more in here. And very soon in reverse. Bum ba da da, boom, 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 bum ba da da da, da 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 da, bum ba da da, ba ba, ba da. So you have passion, you have let your friends help you, and you have expressed your love in reverse and exchanging gifts in the protection. So here's the thing. Um, if this is a person coming towards you, you might meet this person at an outing, you might meet them in a crowded place, you might meet them in the bar, you might meet them in the club, you might meet them um out in the streets <laughs> in the hood you might meet them maybe even online i don't know i don't know your life but um this could be something maybe a friend of a friend or maybe you're out with friends something like that um or the love energy coming towards you is that of like being out bring being gregarious being out in the world and exploring that what I'm seeing here is having fun. This could even be in the form of like a vacation, a trip, a little life siesta, a little fantasy, a little online something something for some of you. Um, it feels like fun and games. I just feel like there's an element of these fun and games that like hits too close to home. <laughs> and someone may catch feelings or... Or whatever but I feel like in any case this this thing the love energy that's coming towards you is honestly it's it's kind of sweet um the nine of clubs is to me an anxious energy um because it kind of reminds you of the nine of swords but that's not really even it is it the nine of clubs is actually the nine of wands so this is someone who is so tired and just needs a night out and just needs someone to take care of them for a bit um, while they take a little break from what they've been doing. So this could be someone coming your way that is looking for a fun time, looking for a good time, looking for some fun, looking for something nice looking for a hand <coughs> job looking for a hand um but i don't mean to say it like that you know what i said but they're just looking for a fun time 
um, like a good time. They're not looking to hurt anybody's feelings. They're not looking to, you know, whatever. It's just like, look, like if you want to play with me, like let's play. I'm tired. <laughs> Um, like this was a nice flirt. This was a nice conversation. This was a nice something something, but I'm not sure how available and open I am to more than a something something. Exchanging gifts has two messages in there about being only the giver and not being receiving. Um, it also has an energy here of someone who should be careful what they wish for because they just might get it. And when they get it, have to put in the work for it. This is somebody who might be tired of fighting and, excuse me, and wants, wants some peace. Um, I just want peace. I just want peace. I just want peace. Or I just want love. I just want love. Oh, I just want love. I just want someone there. I just want someone there. I just want like a good, passionate relationship. Like I just want a good bed, intimacy, sex life. And then you get it and you're sprung. <laughs> or you get it and this person... And, and and you're surprised at how, oh, you're going to get it? Oh, here we go. Oh, no. What is that? And you're surprised. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a lizard out here that is eating everything. Girl, get out of here. It ate like a round bug. What I'm thinking is, like, I hope the lizard doesn't get sick because it just, it was trailing behind that thing. Anyway, um, I know that relates to your reading because this lizard stay is showing up. And it really hasn't. It's the second time it's shown up. I digress. I feel like this is someone who's looking for something but gets more than they bargained for. And it is what they wanted, but now that they have it, it's kind of like, oh, whoa. I want to clarify what Express Your Love is here. I feel like this is... Um, I feel like this is this is an energy of someone or you again who you've been wanting something or I don't know like you go out yeah I want love I want something you meet somebody and sure enough you know it's really good but like with express your love I feel like it's it's not it's like it's it's not um it's not expressing love it to me it feels like a fun time especially coupled with passion um, it feels like a fun time, but there's something more like there is a connection here. There is a connection here. There is something. So this, even for some of you, I don't want to say this, but there could be, you know, your friends or someone's friends reflecting that, yo, this thing that you thought was a fling or that you thought was just a little something, something you actually like, you might be onto something. You, like, we see you. This does not feel like it's just a, a, a fling. But I feel like I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to misspeak. Like, I know there's actually more here than the romance angels give, give, give little tips when they make you go in. Because with exchanging gifts here, which, by the way, seven and two is nine. This person wants, or you, once you're no longer tired and you have your fill, there's something about it being hard to go back to the normal, to go back to being the in the mundane. Um, this is very interesting. What's coming? What's the love energy coming towards my nine here? Like something about? Oh my god! I was about to say something about this gets like conflicted. Something about this gets gets difficult because I'm seeing this nine here and I saw the five. And five would be wands. Five of wands comes out. Amazing. Come through, spirit. You're out here. Yeah, I feel like something about this becomes more than someone bargained for. <laughs> What's happening? This the that's the love and that's the energy coming towards you. Something that starts off, you know, whatever, and you know, light, light and fluffy maybe, but someone gets more than they bargained for. With the BJ here, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> how'd your kids how'd your wife um it's just something something flips something became becomes the love energy coming towards you is something that you did not bargain for and for some of you this feels like a return energy this feels like 
someone who you may have had experience with in the past that was supposed to be or meant to be something flingy or small, they it, it turns into something more. And whether this is something more for the positive or something more for... And by the positive, I mean something more as in it, it didn't make you trip and the other person didn't trip like they were fine they were completely aware and stayed aware of what it was but you didn't you fell and you you stumbled and rolled around and were like oh shit i tripped and fell in love or i tripped and something happened um you know and maybe that became more for you but not so much for the other person whoops but again this could be just an old thing where you thought this was going to be something for a while but the, the, there's something that's still there, like it's demanding more from you. Um, or it's, it feels like, yeah, tell, you know, click, click. The Nine of Wands. <gasps> Spirit is out here, baby. This is the second time this has happened. Amazing. Well, the third if we count the five. I didn't say it, but I thought it. I was about to say it. That's amazing. Thanks for being here, Spirit. This, I asked what's next in this connection, and it's the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is someone who's been through it. So this, this could be someone coming back, or this could be, I don't know what it is for you, buddy. But I'm going to keep reading this energy. If this is you, this is... This is, you might have been tripped up by an energy that you weren't expecting to trip you up and, you know, it tripped you up a little bit. It was what started as a fun night, a one-off, something fun sort of goes left in your love. Not left, but it goes not the way you thought it would. It goes awry. Um, you know, in, 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 in a bit of a painful way <laughs> you know um in a bit of a painful way in a bit of like a bitter sweetness is really more so what i'm getting i'm not i feel like this is someone who goes on vacation meets someone and it's supposed to be just fun you both know you're only here for a week ah, la 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 but then you know it gets to five days in and you're like wait a minute what's happening here and they're like yeah you know there's this shared energy it's it's disarming. It's not what you expected. You were looking for love. You found a fling. Yeah, anyway, so with the five of wands here, um, it does feel passionate as well. This thing, like some conflict. The ten of wands. So many wands. The ten of pentacles. Holy cow. The moon in reverse. I'm going to put that sucker right back in there. Um, I want to say for the five of wands, there is also like some passion. There's also some... Some very, like, bro, what is, there's some, like, real truths that come through in this dynamic that's coming towards you um, from your end or even theirs. Like, there's, if, if, if I relate this to passion, the passion between you two is such that you learn things about yourself. Take that as you will, but I feel like there's, like, a, not a sexual epiphany as in it's just a physical thing but it's almost i don't know it's like you 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 get touched like you feel in this experience with this person the passion you feel for them like you feel touched you know it moves you it feels like some of those, some of those moments are those people that like after sex they cry like oh, okay you know but it feels like something that really moves you or moves them like there's something moving here some type of epiphany or experimental something that happens here that shifts whoa that shifts you all um a, a release and a euphoria in the physical sense <laughs> starts with an o <laughs> someone's saying yeah loose we know what that means but no, I don't, I don't mean that. I, I mean, it could be. Look, sometimes you're trying to read tarot spiritually and tarot is just like, they go F. <laughs> like, that's just what it is. Um, but no, it's, it's more than that. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling here. I'm just feeling like a, a real um, 
like a real connection on all fronts where you really do feel this person uh, everywhere or they feel you everywhere and I feel like for both of you 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 get caught off guard by this and it's it's very bittersweet we have the victory here the success in reverse with the six of swords the six of wands we have the high priestess here who's why is she here <laughs> What are you doing here, girl? What you gotta say? And keep them secrets. What's the, what's the high priestess saying here? Ace of Wands finally comes out in the reverse. Um, don't do it. I told you so. I told you you shouldn't have done it. <laughs> so some self-crucifixion here. Yeah. The one that started the first bonk. When you got bonked so many times, you're like, okay, I get it. Or they did. And they were not getting, they, they didn't, they, they um, got more than their, oh my God. The person coming towards you got more than they're bargained for. Getting more than they bargained for, this turned very strange. Okay, Will of Fortune comes up, will get more than they bargained for. So that's your warning, <laughs> whatever this looks like for you. I'm going to pull your, um, your guidance. Given the situation, spirit, what? Um, what's the guidance for the love energy that we just read for the person watching this? Can you help? I'm not, I, re I know, but I'm really not looking to do, okay. Oh, you know what you're doing. Garden in reverse and homeward. Wow, well, I think I feel like I've gotten these cards before. And storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. I was gonna say every rose has its thorn. Every hurricane comes to an end. So hmm. I feel like your guidance in this thing is to find a solution to work together with said energy to find some type of uh, solution for this circumstance. Take yourself out on a date is, <laughs> is homeward. And Garden says something lovely will grow from this in the reverse. Uh oh. Um, every hurricane comes, every rose has its thorn. I feel like with something lovely will grow from this is i'm gonna be real with you is again that sort of thing where you you do you do have a connection with someone like this if this is your guidance right if this is you if this is the love energy that you're walking into like this is the energy you're bringing if you do meet someone or some ones or have something and that is this um something will grow from this experience but it won't be lovely in the sense of like oh that was amazing it would be lovely in like a 10 years down the line like i appreciate that experience now that i'm over it like, it feels like, and this is the worst thing to say. I don't want you to click off thinking, I don't claim it. I don't know how to say it in a way. Like, bittersweet was a word that came out. But it's almost like, for some of you, nothing will come of this situation, right? You'll go home after a vacation or after your tryst, and you would have been touched, and that would be, you know, the beautiful, lovely moment that you had. You felt something with someone, and it just was not meant to be, and that's just what it is. Take yourself out on a date. This too shall pass, and you will be the better for it. You will. That's that's the story for some of you. Like, that's an easy cut and dry. Like, that's just what it is. For others of you, with what this is coming towards you, you're going to fight. You're going to keep holding on to this in some type of way, and it's going to become more bitter. It's going to become difficult. It's going to, the sweetness that you felt will be less in comparison to the bitterness that um, comes with it, right? So, but is it worth it? For some of you, yes, right? It's worth it because that sweetness was so potent. Fine. 
for others of you, it's just really, well, it takes a long time to get over uh, that and that, that journey to fully getting over it or getting under it, I don't know, getting through it, uh, won't be the best. If this is a past situation and it's coming back around, it's been tough. <laughs> it's been difficult, right? You've been through what I just said. You've been through the, it was sweet and lovely and now it's bitter and what the F, like, ugh, not a fan. Um, and the guidance for that one is good. That's great that you've gone through that. That's wonderful that you have moved through that, that, that state. And now it's time for you as things are rearing their head again or as things are coming back around which is the same thing or as the storm is clearing for you to pause and contemplate in within yourself how you want to proceed in solitariness in on taking yourself on a date in whatever, seeing what you want now that you've gone through that growth that was bittersweet. If this is the energy coming towards you, right? If this is the person coming towards you and this is what they're coming with, this is an energy, the love energy coming towards you. Your guidance in that is... They are on the storms. I, I actually don't know how. They're on the storms ending. Like, I'm, I'm hearing of this too shall pass with them. I'm seeing that you can open the door to them and enjoy their company. But really, I feel like the guidance is the same uh, on, on their end. I mean, if this is somebody that's coming towards you that is passionate and they are you guys have a connection and it's nice and it's super you know wonderful it, i feel like if you're not getting all of what you might be wanting like maybe you start craving more or they st i am not getting they start craving more they might they might but i feel like you might have some some hang-ups about that but in any case your guidance would be to not forget your solitary time and to see to, to I, i'm honestly i didn't want to say it because it's so cliche but to ground yourself like for you if that is the energy of the person that's coming towards you there's someone who um it's it's passionate they're looking for a hand they're looking for a good time a fun time there is a connection but they're not in a place where they need to whatever um, it's, it, the guidance is to continue, like, keeping yourself grounded. You can absolutely entertain them. Absolutely. You can absolutely entertain them and just keep, keep your ground, keep your feet on the ground and know what it is, right? Don't get caught up prematurely or, um, let it, let it play out a bit more, you know, leave, you know, have your door open for it, but let it, let it play out a little bit more in, in this dynamic with this person. Um, or energy, or persons, because there might be a ton of people coming knocking at your door. All right, I wish you, I wish you everything. Like that was a wild. Um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel and you're not subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when I go live for free readings. Also, if you're already subscribed, just double check that you are. YouTube out here playing games. Okay. I wish you were everything. I really do. I'll see you in the comments. Keep you light on and good luck. Bye-bye. Well, I guess we're just going backwards. Hey, spades of four. Four of spades. Welcome to your the love energy coming towards you. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, my friend, this energy could be you or it could be someone else or someone's else. Please go ahead and watch that intro to understand how I read. How I read, pretty much. And um, just how I'm also reading this for those who are new and are unfamiliar with how I, I read.
but also just just watch the beginning because it just makes the most sense to to know what's up get 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 i was getting some getting getting some i was getting some getting getting some Closing time. Nice. The love energy coming towards you. Four of spades. Four of spades is the four of swords, right? Kind of, to me. Um, but it also is giving me four of cups energy. <laughs> Someone who's just too tired. Someone who's just eh. Someone who's in a very eh mode. Which is very four of swords, if you think about it. Someone who's like, they're settled in their life, but also really not settled. Like, they could want more and they do want more, but they're kind of okay where they're at. Like, for them to make the extra, like, for them to get something more in their life, it feels like effort. And honestly, my life is kind of okay. I don't have to do so much. So, eh, it's fine. Four swords, eh, I'm gonna just stay in bed. Like, I don't need to wake up early. Why? Just because I set myself a goal? Just because I said I have, I don't have enough time to do what I need to do? Like, eh, it's fine. Like, I, I'm not gonna do more than I really have to. That's just what I get from the four of spades. But there's still that desire there. So maybe someone is holding themselves back and that eh attitude really is super flexed. It's super strong. Finances and career and separation. There could be a separation in the, between this person, between themselves, what they aspire for and what they're actually willing to do about it. Um, poised. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep writing on this because this might be you. I'm just going to keep talking. Um, this feels like someone who wants to go and do things, but they keep themselves away from doing them. This person is ready. They, they're in a great position to do more in their life, to attain for more, to achieve more, but they might be comfortable. This might be you. You might be comfortable. Things might not be the most desirable but we're comfortable in our own shit, you know what I mean? Like, we really are. We could be in a big mess, we could always be complaining about it, but you know what? Those complaints, those are our best friends. Look, let's get triggered, let's get triggered. Those are our best friends. We're comfortable being uncomfortable because that's the devil we know versus the devil we don't of actually trying and doing something, of actually making ourselves uncomfortable and going after what we say we want. That's gonna get us what we want right this is someone who wants to diet or whatever and we continue doing the things that we don't we say you know like it's just it's like you're comfortable like you are comfortable you really like you still you still look all right you still feel all right like your health is bad but it's not that bad or you know you could go to the doctor or you just man eh, like it's fine i'll wait like it's worrisome but it's also like not really like it's really like if you're if you're honest with yourself it's like eh, it's fine um you really could make more of an effort in your romantic relationships or lack thereof you really really could but you know what eh, it's fine maybe on my birthday maybe after my birthday oh you know maybe on valentine's day or you just eh. like there's a separation to me between your desires and what you want and what you actually do you or you the person look someone Someone is in that funk. There's a, a little spice of depression in there. A little spice of um, lack. Um, but maybe that is that, again, that, that fear of attaining for more because then you'd have to be uncomfortable. And being uncomfortable means you're trying and being trying means you could fail and, and embarrass yourself or have less than you have now. So I'm good with where I'm at. I don't even wanna try. So if this is someone that is there, that, that behavior might be a characteristic that they have in terms of, um, you know, how they move in life. 
but also how they would eventually approach romance with you. I know that I could, they, this, not to say this is someone that would blow hot and cold, this person would be like hot and like warm, like lukewarm, um, in, in some ways. Like they, they know they should call, they see that call, they know they should make plans, they know they should say something, but they just don't. Because why? Why should I have to? But it's so weird that that energy um, is so strong for me. Because poise is so good. Like, poise is like someone who's like poised for action, ready for action, ready to do. So perhaps you're meeting this person or this energy or yourself or in an energy where you're willing and ready to do more. You know, you're about to do more. Moving from this energy of eh to okay, like I'm finally moving more. And if this has something to do with like, actually loose as has been in my health or actually loose as has been in like my business and career life like i'm actually trying more at work and i'm seeing the benefits pay off like this hasn't been in my love life i've been really proactive in my love life blah blah blah, blah, blah. this everything is connected baby everything is connected those the way you were in 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 your finances and career or your health or other areas of your life your 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 your, your spatial i don't know how well you take care of your home and family and those relationships and and areas in your world like they're all connected and so with you being less eh, about them that's doing something to your love energy and doing something to like who you attract and how they come and how you how you show up um so that that's cool if this is them this is them <laughs> getting ready to bro i don't know they're getting ready to move i guess if this is them, they're getting. Let me. What is the love energy? If this is them, what, what is what is that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, they're getting ready to move, but slowly, you know. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot in reverse, slowly. The king of pentacles in reverse is someone who has it all. You know, he's content. I mean, king of pentacles in the upright is content, but king of pentacles in the reverse is like Bruce Wayne, Batman's alter ego. Like Bruce Wayne's alter ego is Bruce Wayne. You know, rich boy Bruce. Oh, he's a playboy. He is lazy doesn't do nothing with his money spoilers if you don't know that about batman he is bruce wayne <laughs> where have you been um <laughs> but this feels like the what people see bruce wayne as lazy he has it all he doesn't do nothing worth you know the collective's ideas of what someone with that much money and privilege should be doing he's just chilling in bed sleeping till 2 p.m and come you know stay like does whatever they want right um now again the king of pentacles in reverse here right next to finances and career this person that's coming your way might be someone who is more focused on finances and career um but they might be i don't know po clarify poised why why am i so not huh <laughs> uh-huh so against this like i'm not against it i'm just bleh. um clarifying poise that we have the emperor yeah fire he's got this he knows what to do he's about that life he's he's good and then we have the tower in reverse and the page of wands in reverse and the nine of cups there's not enough momentum and fire under this person to do the things that they know they are capable of doing to go after the things they know they are capable of going after so you might be getting someone who's full of potential full of so much potential and it might be you know that's what i'm gonna say i don't want to say it might be frustrating that they're not using their potential but you know, with someone who's really smart, someone who really sees the big picture, 
um but is kind of content in life i mean is that bad you know is that bad i don't know what is separation clarify separation for me in this reading let's go ahead and do that because what is happening we got time this reading is moving faster than i thought oh <sighs> yeah five of swords the justice and the king of swords so okay separation oh, the king of swords the five of swords and the justice of swords <laughs> um yeah it feels like this person is acting out of spite so this could be someone who or I, I want to say spite. I do want to say spite. It depends. Like if this is you or whatever, but this is someone who they know they could be better, but don't want to. And the more people say, I know you can do more. I know you can be better. The more they're like, chill, leave me alone. Like I, let me do me. Let me do it on my time. Let me do what I want when I want. Like I don't, it's one of those people who, when you tell them do this, they will do literally everything but that. Like it's just, that energy of someone who's like, oh, so you want me to better myself? Well, look at this. And then they do something that like, don't tell me what to do type person or type energy. And they don't have to be arrogant. I mean, I did bring up Batman and Bruce Wayne, but you know, look, you let me know when they come. Um, it's just someone who's like, no, like they, they intrinsically or at least in the phase of life that they're at right now, like, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to move when I want to move. And they, they are capable of moving when they want to move. Um, I mean, the emperor is here. So, the emperor is here. The emperor is here. Okay. So I'm going to look into here how you can deal with this. Um, energy. And it comes your way. Wow, I just got hit with the major sleepies. If this has been you, you might want to do like a blood count, a blood draw. Just, just go to the doctor, see how, see if things are working the way you'd like them to. Like if you're feeling like, um, if you're feeling like you, you know, like something is off, like you know you could do more, but you're not doing more and you want to, but you can't try to go to the doctor and see if they can like evaluate your, your physiology, like your, your, your body chemistry to see if, if there's something that can be, that's actually affecting you physically. Um, and it's, it's being acted out in your life that happens so much. Right, let's see if they can do some evaluations or something. Uh, what is the guidance for my people here? Dealing with this energy. Clover and wings. You never needed those wings to fly anyway. Um, if it comes to this person as another person externally in your life, uh, this energy. <laughs> um, don't. Don't force them to be something that they're not ready to be. That's not your, hmm. that's not your um, business, quite frankly. And that might be you projecting on them to, because of something that you have on the inside. Okay. Um, Oh, I assumed people were single in this reading. <laughs> mm, if you're seeing somebody in this reading, like you're actively seeing them, you guys might be apart. You guys might, uh, the love energy coming towards you might be separating from them. Um, 
and like breaking up or like, taking a break or moving away from each other physically um, because of money, because of maybe, you know, you live in different places and money is an issue or actually just because of money, like uh, someone focusing so much on their finances and their career that the, the relationship becomes separate, separate. Um, this, uh, yeah, and if that's the case, the guidance here is release your guilt and wings. You never needed those wings to fly anyway. Um, if you're someone who's coming from this energy of being separated from, being separate, being in separation with your someone it's something that lit a fire under you and maybe even your separation with this person lit a fire under them um and it's something that you were already capable of doing but they just happen to be the catalyst they 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 happen to be the catalyst of igniting the thing that was already inside you like they kicked the ball that was potential that was potential energy inside you and you them um and there's some oh yeah so in any case if this energy is in terms of someone else who's coming towards you from everything else i've said release your inner guilt of um the word criticizing comes to mind of criticizing them over them not reaching their potential if that's something that relates to you um and free yourself from depending your worth or security on their achievements because it has something to do with how you see yourself as well on the inside and how your standards are for your love life okay so chew on that and how that might be a form of you projecting. Yes, you want them to do more. Yes, you want them to be more. But um, don't be so pressed about what they're doing or not doing. Do you. Focus on, on what you need to focus on. And release your guilt over the way the dynamic has been between between you two of them not reaching the potential that you see in them in regards to the relationship how they deal with you or even their potential as a person in life um that's kind of a, a heavy message i hope you received that with love if this is you if this energy was you you separating from someone because you wanted to focus on your career and it was a good opportunity. Um, or you finally, you finally started focusing on yourself um, and wondering if maybe, even just if you didn't separate from someone, wondering if the life choices you've made in your career have sabotaged love choices for you, those may not have been the right people for you. And that might be difficult and freeing for you to hear. They may not have just been the people for you. And this energy is here to show you and, and ask you to see that this is how it sort of needed to be for you and your happiness. And if it was part of your long-term happiness, um, they would have they would have stuck around. They would have been in your in your world, or they would be in your world. Um, yeah, so release your, your your guilt over making the choice to... Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> making the choice to um, choose yourself. Or even if you need to apologize and send a message to somebody, go ahead and do that. To release your guilt in, in, in a way that is really functional. Uh, I, uh, good luck. I wish you everything. <laughs> I uh, kind of blacked out on this reading. So I hope that that served you. And um, i see you next time. I'll see you in the comments. I hope this helped.
Hey there, five of spades. Is this spades? Okay. Um. Uh, welcome to your the love energy coming towards you. What is the love energy coming towards Five of Spades? We have wedding in reverse, we have release your ex, we have romantic feelings in reverse, and we have treasure island. So like I said in the beginning of the video, in the intro, please go watch that. Um, the love energy could be an energy that you're bringing forth or an energy that is coming towards you, right? An energy that you're embodying or energies that are coming towards you. This looks like someone who's just left a relationship might be coming towards you. Or someone who's been through releasing of a long-term relationship or a long-term release of a relationship that is coming towards you. Um, there... Boop, 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 I'm... They... Might not be looking for anything. I just like I don't believe that <laughs> like I'm trying to understand the nuance that's playing out in my like third mind because something is off and the romance angels are whispering I'll get there if this is an energy you're embodying in terms of love, you're finally <sighs> letting go or moving away from a long-term commitment. And it's really nice. <laughs> like, long-term feelings, angst, depression, just ugh. Like you're, you're finally sort of moving away from that. For some of you, you're getting a divorcee that's coming your way or divorcees that are coming your way. They look at you And I don't know if they know why. Like, this is this could be someone that looks at you, but I'm not even sure if they know why. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, <laughs> what? The five of spades carries um, five of swords energy. Which to me is like petty, petty energies. But So for some of you, you're getting someone that wants to make someone that they're with or were with jealous, so like a rebound type thing. Um, let's, that's like minor, right? That's minor. 
Um, I'm really more so picking up here on someone who has left a long-suffering dynamic or like internal dynamic. Um, like they're finally getting over a breakup that really hurt them, a relationship that really hurt them, and they're moving to like calmer waters. Tell me about the energies that are coming towards my people here. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Clarify the death. This is what I was afraid of. Hmm. Okay, that's not that. Okay. That's... Ugh, Jesus. Um... If this is you, the love energy that's coming towards you is whomever that you had, like, not a painful breakup, but, like, a long breakup... You can break up on Monday, like July 1st, but you can be still like going through the breakup by December 26th. You know what I mean? Like it's a long, arduous process to like get someone not even out of your energy, but out of that headspace. Like breakups are events that span time. It's like gestation of like a baby. And it took one time to have that sex. And that was, you know, the sex that conceived, but a breakup is not like a conception. It's like a gestation of like carrying that thing for a while. And I feel like if that's something that you've been through with someone, they, they, or you might be entering into a series of like exes coming back, coming back around because they've moved through something or they felt that you've moved on in some way. Um, if this is your, this is a person or energy that are coming towards you and have nothing to do with you. Yeah, this is someone who is moving through, you know, their ending and they might be looking for someone, right? Like they're available now to enjoy someone but i feel like their their ex is around somewhere what this queen of swords doing here <laughs> for some of you it really could be like i'm really not getting an, an, an energy of someone who's like an ex or exes like it's ex season like ex seasons exes are coming back or People that you've known in the past are coming back. If this isn't an ex, it's someone that you knew once upon a time and maybe they were in a relationship or whatever and they're coming around to you to like talk to you, to... <laughs> it's just it's just weird to think that death is offering a cup. Like, what? They're sort of maybe hanging around, holding on to see if there is still a little something something here with whatever went down between you. I don't know what I'm shuffling for. Um, To check if you've moved on um something like that all right i don't i don't want that let's let's move that could be your story uh this could be someone who is that but if this is a new person they might be looking for something of a rebound um but not in like a nasty way you know they're looking for something nice they want to take their entry into the world their re-entry into the world slow um they're looking for something after this long-term something now if this becomes serious with this person this is someone who maybe they did date other people after this long breakup but those really were nothing and now the chance with you is finally something that is more of not a rebound um yeah or maybe it becomes more of something not a rebound but I am getting somebody who has moved through and waited um, for themselves to be a little bit more stable before they um, entertain people in a love dynamic. This person could also, some of these people here, just like a bit of them, could still be hitched to their former such and such, to their former person, and they might be um, getting like revenge. 
Some of them might be having an affair and looking for an affair in order to get revenge. Or they see that their partner has gotten, is, is having an affair, so they want an affair too. Or this could be someone who's coming your way, someone who did that in the past. Someone who saw that their partner was having an affair and, and they had an affair too. Um, <laughs> what? Okay, Knight of, <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. We know our guy is slow. Um, but this is someone who might be snappy. Like, I'm picking up a Darcy type. But not Darcy, like, 90% of the movie. I'm picking up Darcy when we first meet him. He's, like, a snob. And he's, like, a jerk. Like, they might have that, like, ha <laughs> ha attitude about them. Arrogant. Saying things about the sex they're interested in. Like, if it's a guy they're interested in girls they might say like oh you know women or if it's a lady they might say oh you know men someone who's still hurting off of a wounding um and just waiting for like the right one <laughs> that's sad that is sad tell me more about the seven of pentacles The sun. Yeah, they just want to be chosen. They're waiting for the right one. I don't see them plucking from the tree. I see them tasting. What am I saying? I don't see this person, at least in the energy that I'm reading them in now, doing something erratic. Mm, doing something prematurely i'd see them doing it like post maturely <laughs> like like after the matured one day extra for good measure you know that's what i see here in terms of who's coming your way um let's go ahead and read this energy the guidance I really don't want to read three cards, but they stay giving me three cards. So here we go. Wow. Um, villain, you can always rewrite the story. Sundress, do it for you. Voyage in reverse. You already have all the answers. So when it comes to this energy that comes your way, you might not know all the ins and outs of what this energy might be, but you Move in the way that makes sense for you. Move in the way that feels good for you. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing you more as the villain here. But the situation could be villainous for you as well. Um, but it, it just feels like your guidance here could be... If, if you're someone who is the type to say oh well you know all men are this or all women are that or you know blah 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 um you can rewrite the story you can you can reframe reframe that um that story you you can reframe that in in a way that works for you <sighs> with sundress here so when it comes to this dynamic, like if it's something that is confusing or whatever, make sure that you are moving in a way that you want to move, not in a way that's dependent on this person's circumstances. Um, because becoming too dependent on them or their honesty or their word prematurely will may end in disappointment. Um, 
and you need to make sure that at least you're being honest with yourself in terms of how you want to move in this dynamic um and just how you want to move period because that's something that you can count on you know if you move accordingly to your true north or your true compass or your true gps your true higher self if you move in the way that feels right to you then you know that at the end and the be- and at the beginning of things that you did things the right way um and it can be really freeing to know that you did things the way that you were proud of so do things in a way that you'll be proud of if this is you and you are this person that I just described, or you are this energy that's coming up for you or you're in, um, you might want to reshape the dynamics that you're in and see them from a different perspective. Um, You won't know everything. You just won't. And once again, really, it's the same. Do and move in a way that makes you feel good and reminds you that you are worthy because at the end of the day the person that you have is you yourself and yourself you know so make sure that you're moving in such a way that you're accounting for that person you and that you're at least listening to yourself if you can't quite discern or decipher um the answers or solutions that you need when it comes to this particular phase in your life or this dynamic um because it does feel either way that the energies in this reading are trying to move towards better horizons and are willing to put the work in for better horizons um And that usually is a safe bet to assume that Better Horizons has something to do with you following the fact that you are the treasure, you are the prize. Um, And you being, I don't want to say you being worthy of being a prize, but you seeing yourself as worthy of, of having good things with Treasure Island here and not being in a poverty consciousness because when you believe that you deserve good things or like good things can be yours, you don't doubt people's affections for you in a way that you would if you didn't believe. You wouldn't question them so much, you know? And so that just spreads throughout. It would be an of course. So for instance, an, is- an issue some people have is, oh man, all the good ones are taken and all I ever get are married people that hit on me well that sucks but you can always reframe that and go i am um marriage material and these ones that are married clearly know that so that means when someone is ready for marriage i attract people who are ready for marriage you know like that kind of flip where you make it work for you in your favor so once you know your value and you are Whew. Um, aware of that for yourself. There's, there's a way that you see life um, when you know that you are worthy. Yeah, there's just something that I'm picking up there. All right. I wish you everything. Keep your light on and good luck.